Setting up a test job. For the specifics of how everything works, you'll want to watch the main Headshot Tools help videos, but here are some quick instructions to get a test job up and running fast. Step one, adding a new job. Log into Headshot Tools and click Add Job here. We'll call this job Test Job for Fake Client, and we'll pick a logo. This will be an instant delivery job, so all we have to do is click Add New Job. Step two, sign up a new participant. Now click on the sign up to the right of your new job in the jobs list page and we'll add a test participant. Make sure to use a valid email you have access to so you can check it later. Once submitted, you can close the sign up form and return to the jobs list. Step three, double clicking. Now open the dashboard by clicking here. To start shooting your test participant, please double click their name. In our instant delivery job, two things happen when you double click on their name. First, a file prefix specifically for this participant will be copied to your computer's clipboard. Your tethering software will eventually read this and rename any images with that prefix as you shoot. Second, your test participant will be emailed a link to their gallery this happens so that by the time your participant is finished being photographed, their gallery email is already in their inbox, ready to go. Step four, snap some tethered photos. Make sure you have your tethering software configured before starting this step. See our guides in the help section for more information. Now go ahead and switch to your tethering software. Plug your camera into your computer and take a couple test shots. Your images should now appear with the Headshot Tools prefix that includes your participant's name. If you're not seeing this happen, please re-watch our setup videos for your tethering software. Step 5. Export your images as JPEGs. Now select any images you want your participants to receive in their gallery and export those images. In Capture One, you can press Command plus D on Mac or Control plus D on Windows. Or if you're using Lightroom, select Export with Previous. Step 6. Automatic Uploading. Switch back to your job list and click the Upload Utility link here. Now click the green button titled Select Images Folder. Here we need to select the folder where your exported JPEGs from the prior step were placed. When Capture One is configured with our recommended settings, this is the location from when you created your session then the output folder followed by the Headshot Tools subfolder. In Lightroom, this is the folder found in your Export Location section settings. Click to allow any dialog boxes that pop up and the Auto Upload utility will now start continually checking this folder for any new or modified images to upload. It will continue checking for you as long as the tab remains open. You should now see your test participants' images get uploaded. If this isn't happening, a common mistake is that you've selected the incorrect folder. To fix this, refresh the page and try again with the correct folder. Step seven, view your gallery. Check the email inbox that you entered in step two for our fake participant. You should have an email from Headshot Delivery. Click the gallery link and you should now see your test images. Congratulations, you did it. We now recommend repeating the above steps as if you're shooting a job for real and watching the help videos for each specific portion of this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to email support at headshottools.com.